hardship. Wherever you see free food, help yourself. Akbabu tells Nigerians. Now to the news in full. Since President Godzilla Akbabu has advised Nigerians to help themselves wherever they see free food. He made the remark in a recent video of him presiding over a plenary session in the Red Chamber. In the video, the Nigerian leader is seen laughing with his colleagues following the remarks. Imagine laughing at people's pain. Laughing at people hungry and saying that wherever they see free food, they should take it. And you are laughing about it. These people are not ashamed and, and they don't care. People, Nigerians really need to stand up and go and send these people out because the way they are making mockery of people's pain, of what people are going through, this is becoming really sad. Like they do not care. The advice come amidst harsh economic realities faced by Nigerians, largely due to President Bola Sinobu's policy such as removal of forest subsidy. Recently, Nigeria state-owned oil company NNPC Limited increased petrol price by over 15%, making the second hike in less than a month, effectively exiting a subsidy program that the government said has strained its finances. The product is sold above 1,000 naira per litre in various places across the country. This is not the first time Ababu has been filmed making similar remarks. At the Niger Delta Ethnic Nationalities Group, Youth and Women Group Sensitization Conference in Port Harcourt, River State, in July, the Senate President mocked Nigerians planning to protest against economic hardship, saying he and other National Assembly members would be eaten while they protested. Those who want to protest can protest, but let us be here eating, the former acquired bomb state governor had said. Nigerians need to really stand up and first start with all those people in that Senate eh? to go there and, and scatter their means because how can you be making mockery of people? The first time you said you will go and be protesting and you'll be eating. Now you say that wherever we see free food, we should, we should grab it as beggars that we are, be? Who put you there in that Senate? Who is paying your salaries? Is it not taxpayers' money? And then you just go there, sit down and talk rubbish, make mockery. They don't have anything good that they are doing in that Senate. Nothing. They just sit down there, collect salary, collect uh, 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 money for this, for that. And they are not doing anything tangible for the country. Hmm. God will punish these people. Though. God should really punish them because they are so heartless. Samson Sunday says that Babi is making mockery and is taking pleasure in the hardship of Nigerian citizens. I don't blame him or any politicians. It's Nigerian citizens and blame me because 2027 is coming. Instead of them to vote the right candidates, they will purposely, foolishly and deliberately vote wrong candidates again. My people make on our wise. Make on our get sense. If not, the second hardship that is coming, people will cook their children to eat. This is in the Bible. Famine. I hope that people have learned their lessons and seen again that these people are not to be trusted. I'm sure that most Yoruba people that even said, hey, let, us, let me vote for my Yoruba brothers, they are biting their fingers right now. And I hope that they have learned their lesson and make sure that even if these people want to wake, they will not have any possible way to wake. Because nobody sh should even be voting for APC at all. Nobody, no single person should vote for APC at all during the coming election. So if people still open their eyes and still vote for this party again, then there's absolutely something wrong. There's something wrong and we really like suffering in this country because how can look at what these people are doing? Making mockery of people's hardship that it will cost and you don't feel remorse. In fact, it is well. Now the Christian says this is what APC and their supporters have reduced the masses to. Can you imagine telling us to grab free food wherever we see it? Because we are hungry now. Ha! Oh God. Francis Ekoro says, I don't even think this man is okay. He needs a doctor to check him. He's, he's absolutely fine. He's fine. He's just making mockery and that is why God will punish them. God will punish them all. Because me, I'm even saying that these people, when they are raising their children, that is not a good thing. But if, is it bad if somebody prays that something bad should happen to these people so that they will know how it feels to go through pain? Because it's like 
they are just so heartless. Their heart is hardened. Once something terrible happens to them as well, that's where they will feel pain. And I think that should be prayers of Nigerians now that they should also feel pain, to feel death, to feel hunger too. Because why are they so wicked? Akwamaka says, God Almighty punish you and all your generation. Amen. Amen. No, because these people are very wicked. It won't be bad if you also be wicked to them. It's not good to wish somebody's bad, though, but these people, they don't care if you die. So it, it, it is okay for me not to also care if they also die or if their children die also because why can you be so wicked? Iwuchuku says, this country has finished Nigerian citizens. Nigerian citizens are in serious problem. We are, we are in serious problem because who are these people that are in, that are in this end that, that are presiding over us? Who are they? A girl he said, you can eat the whole world, but God pass you. God pass them all, and God will show forth for his people. It might take time, but it will happen. God will surely fight for us very soon. Ita, he says, you are making a callous statement, brother. So I was bringing insult to Nigeria and Nigerians. If there is free food anywhere, how can it be available to feed a man with his family in a day? I'm very happy you acknowledge the hardship both you and your principal and your party have brought to the entire nation. You can recall from your youthful years up to now that you are at the helms of government. There has never been such a moment such as this in the history of Nigeria. Your repute after service matters. They don't do. They don't care to give a good reputation. They don't care to leave good legacy. They just want to ruin everything, to eat, eat everything at once and then leave the country in shambles for somebody else to come and take over. They do not care for any reputation at all. Afiz Ajayi says, May God judge you with what is coming out from your mouth. With Psalm 28 in Jesus' name. Amen. Chukune says, It is Tinubu's fault, so let God judge Tinubu first. God will judge all of them. All of them. Amibi Atibi says, I don't blame you, but one day your punishment will come. By the grace of Almighty God. Amen. Tunchi Okoko says, Obviously, these people are mocking the people with the hardship. Until the people will vote this government and attack all of you, then you will know you're supposed to have a tire barbell with a rope so that his madness won't take him to the markets once he enters markets. No solution. Once people are ready to vote, eh? these people, they will know that mm -hmm, there is God somewhere. People are still not ready. If we are ready to revolt, to take back this country from wicked people, then that is when we will know. Because these people are wicked and making mockery of our situation. Why? Why are they so heartless and wicked? My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.